17. Time and date. Dialogue 1. Have you seen the latest news? The schedule has been changed. I don't know. What is the new class schedule? We changed the morning class schedule to the afternoon class. So we have math with Mr. Anderson at 2 p.m. Great. I hate going to school in the morning in this cold weather. I will spend the morning sleeping. Whatever. Because every morning I wake up early to exercise and cook breakfast. Well, I know you have a healthy lifestyle. Dialogue 2 Do you know what time it is? It's a quarter past six. What's up? The movie Stranger Things starts the new season at 7.30. I want to get ready to see. I thought you said this movie wasn't good. It's about season two. You know, this new season has a great cast of guests. That sounds interesting. Now, I'm going to go make coffee to enjoy the movie. Do you want one? I don't drink coffee at night. Are you going to watch all the episodes? Of course! I've been waiting for this movie for a month! Well, enjoy it. Dialogue 3 Hello! Where are you going? I'm on my way to the library. Wow! Do you often go to the library? About three times a week. Why do you ask? <laughs> oh, nothing. I'm just curious. How long can the books in the library be borrowed? You will be borrowed for about two to three weeks. Can you assist me with my studies? Of course. Uh, what time? At six o'clock tonight. My family is having dinner at that time. Around 8 p.m., okay? That's okay. See you later. See ya. Eighteen. Shopping. Dialogue one. Good afternoon. Has anyone helped you yet? No, not yet. What could I do for you? Yes, I'm looking for a silk tie. Well, you're in luck because we have some ties that are on sale today. What color would you prefer? Oh, I prefer solid colors and checkered patterns. Here it is. Okay, how much is it? The initial price is $35 and a 10% discount. Now it's $31.50. All right, I'll take it. Okay, I will repackage it for you. Dialogue 2 Hello, can I help you with something? Yes, please. I'm looking for a pair of sports shoes. Which size do you want? I need size 42. Which particular branch do you prefer? I like Adidas ones. How about this one? It looks fine. Can I try it on? Go ahead. Hmm. They're too tight. Maybe I should try a bigger size. Yes, sir. Here it is. How much? Forty dollars. All right. I'll get it. Dialogue 3 Excuse me, do you work in this store? Yes, may I help you? My basement is being repainted. I need a new brush better than an old brush to work with. Try using a spray gun. Spray gun? That sounds weird. Is it easy to use? It's very easy to use. I'll get it for you. That's incredible. It resembles a gun from a science fiction film. Yes, but it's a fantastic tool. 
It's not messy because you may change the tip or spray a smaller amount. Well, that's probably better for little details and corners. That's correct. And it's on sale this week. Sounds really tempting. Right. When the product is defective, you can return it within one week. However, it should not be necessary. Why? A five-year guarantee has been offered by the manufacturer. It's a guaranteed thing. Nice. I will take one. Well, please give the money to the cashier. Okay. Nineteen. Offers and Invitations Dialogue 1 Well, what are you doing tomorrow evening? I will go to a live show with my friends. It's the live show of the group Maroon 5. Maroon 5? It's my favorite band! I've become their loyal fan since listening to Payphone. So, do you want to go with us? Am I invited? Why not? We can buy an extra ticket for you. Many thanks. What time shall I meet you? A live show is going to start at 8 p.m. tomorrow. We will meet at 6 o'clock at the entrance. Yes. See you tomorrow, then. Bye! Dialogue 2 What are your plans for Thanksgiving, Eric? I'm staying at my university. What's up? Are you staying on campus? Don't you go home with your family? My parents are traveling to Switzerland. So what are you going to do? I don't know. Maybe study or dinner with my friends? That's really boring. Hmm. What options do I have? Why don't you come to my house and have dinner with my family? Do you think that's a good idea? Definitely yes. It will be so much fun. But your parents... Don't worry. My parents enjoy having dinner with my friends. Um, okay. So when are you going to leave? Tomorrow afternoon. I'll be waiting for you at the parking lot. You can help pay for gas. Okay, I can. All right. You'll have a wonderful Thanksgiving. 20. Congratulations and Celebrations Dialogue 1 Wow, you look different today. What's going on? Today is our 30th wedding anniversary. Our family is going to the hotel to celebrate. That's why you have those gorgeous flowers. Oh, what bag are you holding? That's the present I prepared for my wife. A necklace studded with diamonds. Fantastic. Your wife will surely be very happy. I also hope my wife will like it. My wife always complains about why I don't give her diamonds. Hope you both have a good time. Thanks. Dialogue 2 Morning, Tom! Oh, morning, Anna. You look happy. How's it going? Great! Have you heard any news? No. What's wrong? I received my law college admission letter! Oh, really? When? Just this morning. They sent me an email. Well done. Thank you very much. Now I'm too excited to go to class. Forget about classes and lessons. Let's go have some fun. No, I'd want to celebrate, but not this morning. I will celebrate in the afternoon. When no one has class. Of course. The more the merrier. True. What time do we meet? Let's all meet here at four o'clock. Congratulations once again. You've done a great job. Thank you. I was fortunate. Now we have to rush to class. Okay then, see you later! Miss Future Lawyer! 
I'll see you this afternoon. Twenty one. Telephone calls. Dialogue one. Hello. Hello. May I speak to Alice, please? Sorry about that. There's nobody here by that name. Is this the number eight six three three one two one two one? No, you got the wrong number. Please accept my apologies. I must have phoned the incorrect number. Dialogue two. Hello, is Alice available? Sorry, she's not here. I inquire as to who is phoning. I'm Anna. Can I take a message? Don't mind. I'll call her cell phone. All right. Thank you anyway. It was nothing. Dialogue three. Good morning. How can I help you? Good morning. Could I speak to Brian Owen, please? Who's calling, please? Mary Haston. Hold for one moment, please. I'll hold. Okay, ma'am. I'm sorry. His line is busy. Mr. Owen is on the other line, ma'am. Can I take a message? Could you please put me in touch with Human Resources? They may have already left. Let me check. Okay. Ma'am. Yes. Someone is in the office. I'm going to transfer your call right now. Okay. Thank you. Twenty-two. Food and dining. Dialogue one. Wow, this is delicious food. Do you enjoy it? Yes, it is particularly very delicious. What is it? It's my family's heirloom recipe. The main ingredients are chicken, clams, and a few seasonings. Well, I think it's fantastic. Oh no, I dropped my spoon. Use this; it's clean. Thank you. Can you give me the salt shaker? Isn't it salty enough? No, it's it's fine. I love salt. Hmm. Salty food is not good for health. I know, but I find it better when it's salty. All right. This is just the first course. What comes next? Your preferred dish: chicken baked in lemon sauce. Oh my goodness! I'm going to eat till I'm full. Just keep in mind that if I cook, you must wash the dishes. Sure, take that out. Dialogue two. Can I take your order, please? You see, it's the first time we've been to this restaurant. What do you recommend? We are famous for our meatloaf. All right, then we'll have salad for starters. Okay then, and would you want it with mashed potatoes or macaroni and cheese? Hmm, I guess I'd rather have macaroni and cheese. Would you like some drinks? We'll go for water today. Okay, that's the meatloaf with macaroni and cheese. Thanks. Twenty-three, culture and art. Dialogue one. What exactly are you looking at? Cubist art. It is a book about that. That sounds strange. It consists solely of blocks in various forms. Without a doubt, the artists are attempting to represent reality in this manner. What do you mean? Through the fundamental shapes that we ordinarily take for granted. Why are you suddenly interested in this? The city museum is having an exhibition about the cubist painting display. Did you go see it? 
No, I didn't. I will go this weekend. Before I went, I wanted to do some research on it. Good idea. Are you learning much? Just a bit. My interest is to, to stir it a little. Didn't Picasso create that trend? No, but he developed it and popularized it. Are there any Picasso artworks on display in the city museum? There are a few paintings. It was borrowed from a museum in Spain. Nonetheless, a Picasso is a Picasso. Maybe I'll accompany you. That's great with me. Dialogue 2 I'm overjoyed. My painting was recently accepted by a gallery. Do you mean the National Museum of Art? Yes. Great! Congratulations! Thanks! They want me to exhibit my painting next month. How many? Approximately ten. There are three landscapes, two still lifes, a seascape, and four impressionist cityscapes in my collection. Are they the ones you did of the Colosseum? That's correct. Next year, I'll also have a display at the Art Museum. You're really gifted. I wish I could sketch and paint like you. I tried a lot, took many years of hard work and countless rejections to get where I am today. 24. Literature. Dialogue 1. What is the class about today? Literature class. We began reading War and Peace. Isn't that book almost a thousand pages long? That sort of thing. I can't remember the precise number. When you must you finish this book? Our professor wants it to be read before the end of next month. You have a lot of reading to do. What are your thoughts? There are several characters to recall. Why does your class read this book? Because this is a class on Russian literature. Is Tolstoy one of your favorite authors? I also like him. However, I like some of Russia's later writers. Who, for example? Dostoevsky, Gorky, and a few others are among them. This is beyond my understanding. Best wishes in class. Dialogue 2 What are you reading now? I'm reading J.K. Rowling. J.K. Rowling? What? Rowling wrote the world-famous book Harry Potter. The novels chronicle the lives of young wizard Harry Potter and his friends Hermione Granger and Ron Weasley, all of whom are students at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. It's fiction, isn't it? Definitely. This book is very famous. Let me have a look. Here you are. Isn't the book in English? Ah, it's been translated into many languages around the world. I'm reading in French. 25. Sports and Games Dialogue 1 Who is that? The tallest guy on the team. Yao Ming is his name. He is Chinese. Is he good at playing? Of course. He scored 20 points for the Chinese team. Well, that's really good. He's also the captain of the team. Dialogue 2 Would you like to go out for a drink? Sorry, I can't. I'm going to bed early tonight. I have a match tomorrow. Oh, yes. Are you worried? Just a little bit. I will play the first turn tomorrow. Is that true? Are you no longer a substitute? Yeah, coach made the decision to give me a chance. Congrats, bro. What makes you believe he did that? Most likely because I hit a home run in our last game. What position do you play? I'll be at third base. It's a difficult position. A lot of places come your way. That's correct, but I believe I can handle it. What time does the game begin? The game is scheduled to begin at 1 p.m. 
I'll come to cheer you on. Great. So, are you not coming with us? Just one drink. I'm afraid not. I'm in desperate need of a decent night's sleep. I get what you mean. Okay, we'll see you tomorrow. I'll see you later. 26. Entertainment. Dialogue 1. Do you have plans for today? No, I don't. What did you have in mind? I was thinking of going to the entertainment center with you. Entertainment center? What do you want to play there? How about going bowling? I'm not in the mood to go bowling. Do you have any other suggestions? So, what about watching movies? That's a good idea. We can go watch Stranger Things. I've read an excellent review of it. Okay, let's get started. Dialogue 2 What do we do tonight? How about watching a Chinese movie? Have you watched uh, Sun Wukong the Monkey King? Uh, come on, you know I don't like watching Chinese movies, and I don't get it. It's a pity. This movie is very popular. So, what do you want to do tonight? Mm, why not remain at home and watch wrestling on television? The Rock is going to face Steve Austin in an all-out brawl to the death. You've got to be kidding, right? Don't you realize professional wrestling is all a sham? So why don't you do it? Let's see if you can get in there and take on those men. Don't be so childish. You can drive me insane at times. Okay, calm down. Come over here and we'll watch the movie you just suggested. I thought you stated that you don't like Chinese movies. Didn't you say it's very famous? I also want to try it once. Okay, you are weird. Dialogue 3 Are you free tonight? I'm going to a concert with Steve. What's wrong? I want to invite you to my house. Anyway, what kind of concert? Classical. Really? You managed to persuade Steve to listen to classical music? Yes, indeed. Last week. I went to a baseball game with him. <laughs> I get what you mean. You bore him because he bores you. Perhaps we're just broadening our horizons. When I see it, I'll believe it. So, what kind of music will they be playing? A selection of pieces by Beethoven and Mozart. It's the Washington Symphony Orchestra. These tickets are hard to get. How did you buy it? My dad's friend works at the theater. That's fantastic. I wish you a pleasant time. I'm sure I will. I hope your lover is sober enough after the concert. <laughs> Me too. I'm out. I'll call you later. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Goodbye. Twenty-seven. Hobbies and Pastimes Dialogue 1 Tell me, what do you enjoy doing in your spare time? I know you enjoy going to bars. Yeah, how about you? Do you go to bars for fun? No, I'm not. I'll go to karaoke, then I have free time for entertainment. Yes, I know you have a talent for singing songs. You have a beautiful voice. Thank you. That has now become my hobby. We can go to karaoke next time, okay? Okay. Dialogue 2 I've noticed that you have a lot of fun. How do you do it? On the weekends, if the weather is nice, I will go camping with my girlfriend. It's very fun. Ah, <laughs> I wish I had a girlfriend too that I could go camping with. We always want to have more trips together. And we're keen on going camping because we can enjoy the beautiful nature in peace. And this winter, 
I'm going to take a skiing class. I'm so excited to see the results after you join the skiing class. Yes, wait a month and see what happens. Dialogue 3 What are your hobbies? I adore collecting coins. Whoa, how long have you maintained this hobby? I've been collecting since I was a kid. Oh, I used to collect coins. So, you're not doing it anymore? 28. Likes and Dislikes Dialogue 1 Ugh, I'm starving! Why don't we try some Indian food? I don't want Indian food because it is too hot and spicy for me. So, I'm guessing you don't enjoy Thai food either. Not really, but I prefer Thai food to Indian food. So, what do you recommend? What about Chinese cuisine? Do you like Chinese food? Sure, I absolutely love Chinese food. Dialogue 2 I can't stand this heat. I want to go swimming. No, I don't like to go to the swimming pool. I'll be quite uncomfortable with the boys always gazing at me. But it's too hot. Come to a quiet lake that I know. There will only be you and me. I promise no one will stare at you. Okay, it's hot and it'd be wonderful to get away from it all. Let's go. Dialogue 3 So, Frank, do you like my hair? Well, it looks great. I love it. Come on, I'd like to know the truth. You're just trying to make me feel happy. I tell the truth. I find your hair very trendy. Why are you not satisfied with it? My hair looks so short. I've never experienced anything like this before. It's strange. I guess you're an old-fashioned girl and you like long hair. But now the trend is the hairstyle like yours. Yeah, whatever. I'll have to alter it back to something more normal. Now you can only wait for your hair to grow out. 29. Cause and Effect Dialogue 1 What is the matter with Bob? Why are you asking like that? What transpired? He seems sad today, and he doesn't say anything, even after school. Oh, I believe I know why. Tell me the reason. Last night, I think he was arguing with his girlfriend. That might be why he's upset today. That's true, that's bad. It's difficult to conceive what else might be making him so furious. I understand. He's very easygoing and always gets along with people. I don't know what makes him like that. A disagreement with his girlfriend, for example, is a possible cause. I suppose so. I'll attempt to contact him later. I hope he will be better tomorrow. I hope that too. Dialogue 2 Am I not mistaken? Are you smiling? I haven't seen you smile like that in a very long time. <laughs> it's really nothing. Well, something funny must have happened, right? That's one of the biggest smiles I've ever seen. Oh no, you're embarrassing me. Alright, your face is turning red. What exactly is happening? I have an appointment with my new girlfriend. I'm leaving. Goodbye. I see. That's why you're grinning. Dialogue 3 Look what time it is. You are late. Again. Why are you so late? I'm sorry. That's at our professor. Hmm? Huh? Unreasonable reason. The professor tried to say something more after the bell rang, so my class got out late. 
What subject did you just study? Is it Professor Williams? Exactly. Do you also know the professor? I got it. This professor always lets the class out late. Let's go now or we'll miss the bus. 30. Doubting and Believing Dialogue 1 Do you remember what you promised me? You promised me you'll save money, but I don't see it. You can't save money if you don't make it. I know, you just got your salary this month, and now you're telling me you've spent all of it. You know how hard it is to save money. Is it for you how much money is not enough to spend? Yeah. But you made a commitment to me. I apologize. In the future, I shall do better. Dialogue 2 Hello, Steve. I require your assistance. Sure. What do you need? Yeah, about Rick. Tell me, is something wrong? No, we're throwing him a surprise birthday party. Oh, fantastic! How are you going to do it? Yes, and since you're his best friend, swear not to tell him. All right, I guarantee it. Are you certain? When was the last time you made a promise to yourself? Don't believe me? Because last time you also promised to keep Laura's story a secret. Please accept my apologies, but this time is different. Do you swear? I vow to you, not a word. Okay, now you and I will talk about planning a birthday party. Talk about your ideas first. 31. Difficulty Dialogue 1 Do you know how to swim? I can swim, but I'm not very good at it. So how about you? I never learned to swim, therefore I don't know how. You should try it. Haven't tried, how do you know? But I'm afraid of water. Don't worry. This fear is curable. I can teach you to swim if you want to try. Is this difficult? I am afraid I will drown. We're not going to stay too deep. Drowning is impossible. But I'm sure I'll be swallowed a lot of water. Sure. Anyone who has just learned to swim does the same. I wonder, when I'm in the water, I will be unable to breathe. Before you begin, take a deep breath. Okay, I will try once. Dialogue 2 Fine! I'm sick of it! I assumed you wanted to learn with me. Right, because I need help. But it's just too difficult. I admit this exercise is too difficult to solve, but we shouldn't give up either. What other option do I have? I'm too stupid. No, you simply need to unwind. I'm probably overly stressed. That's correct. Don't ruin your efforts by the stress. <sighs> okay, I'll attempt to relax, but that won't help me solve this exercise. It's better than giving up. I'm confused, too. So, how can you help me if you are also confused? You and I will think of a way to solve it. Okay, but if I get mad, you'll be held accountable. Okay, make a deal. Take a few minutes now to relax. Good idea. 32. Suggestions and Complaints Dialogue 1 you won't believe what I'm about to tell you. The firm required both myself and the other colleagues to attend a biology seminar and study it. What's the problem with that? Well, if I go to the biology seminar, I will take all day. And I'm sick of companies asking me to come while not paying me. So, what are you going to do about it? I'm just talking with you. I can't tell my superiors. 
because it's no use complaining afterward. Dialogue 2 Hello, Tom. What are you up to? I'm attempting to repair this chair. How about a screwdriver? Yeah, I know it won't help because... Because the screws were removed. They're difficult to put back in. Is it okay if I offer a suggestion? Oh, so good, you say. Find Airy and take his automated drill. It is a lot faster. I guess it will be faster than this little screwdriver. And here's another suggestion. Okay, tell me what you're thinking. Buy a new chair. But this chair is still usable. Except for the screws. I've no complaints about it. Ugh, okay, but don't come to me with your complaints if you injure yourself. 